This presentation is an analysis of Nathaniel Hawthorne's short story, The Birthmark. Overview. The birthmark is set in a scientific lab in the late 1700s. The country of location is not clear. It could be America or possibly England. The protagonist, Elmer, is a renowned scientist who risks his own wife Georgiana's life in order to remove a tiny hand-shaped birthmark from her cheek, believing that she is so beautiful that he must remove the birthmark to make her perfect. Although all of Georgiana's former lovers felt the birthmark was a charm and made her even more beautiful than without it, Elmer insists that he must remove the mark from her cheek because it bothers him so much. Georgiana stoically allows him to do the, an experiment on her knowing that many of his past scientific endeavors have, been, have ended in failure and that he could do her great harm by experimenting on her. However, her unquestionable devotion to him makes her agree to take that risk with her own well-being, since he is repulsed by the sight of her slight imperfection. His servant, Aminadab, says he would never remove the birthmark if Georgiana was his wife, Com but proud Elmer sees the removal of the birthmark as a scientific challenge that he is compelled to accomplish. Ironically, he successfully removes the birthmark from her cheek, but his wife dies moments later. Significant Literary Terms the conflict in the story is science versus nature, in which the author shows preference for nature over science. Tone, or the author's attitude toward his or her subject, is one of skepticism towards those who value science over nature, such as Elmer. Hawthorne seems critical of Elmer's blind faith in science and his attempt to play God by trying to perfect nature. It is clear that the author feels nature should be respected and valued, and that humans should not try to interfere with nature. Elmer's selfish and egotistical goal of perfecting the natural beauty of his wife at the risk of her life is portrayed as heartless. Elmer gets what he deserves when his wife dies, as he has valued his professional goals as a scientist more than his wife's life. Georgiana's death at the end of the story is ironic, because Elmer has achieved his goal, perfecting his wife's natural appearance. However, he did not expect that she, she could only be perfect in death. This is also a just ending because Elmer does not deserve such a loving and devoted wife when he values his profession and ego more than her life. Foil is a term used for a character who possesses opposite characteristics from the protagonist in order to stress the character traits in the protagonist. Aminadab, the down-to-earth, simple, and even almost animal-like servant, serves as a foil to Elmer, who is academic, idealistic, and well-educated. Although uneducated and simple, even Aminadab realizes the folly in Elmer's attempt to remove the birthmark from his wife's cheek, exclaiming that if it were his wife, he would never try to do that. His realization of the foolishness of risking a woman's life in order to make her perfect emphasizes what a bad idea it is for Elmer to do so. It, is al it also questions the morality of a scientist who is willing to take the risk an, uh, is willing to res risk the well-being of others for the sake of scientific discovery. The theme or message about life is the immorality of playing God or trying to conquer or perfect nature or to question or not accept mortality or imperfections in nature. The birthmark is a symbol of imperfections in nature or morality. The fact that it is shaped like a little hand reminds the reader that it is a symbol of our humanity. Our mortality makes us human and makes life more precious since it will not last forever. The birthmark shows that Georgiana is human and will not live forever. Elmer does not accept the morality, excuse me, the mortality or his wife's natural state. Foreshadow, or hints of how the story will end, abound in this story. Some examples are Elmer's numerous failed experiments that he performs to entertain Georgiana, such as the seed that grows quickly into a plant and then dies or the base relief image of his wife he makes and then quickly throws into acid since it emphasizes the birthmark on her cheek, and the volumes of books on the shelves that chronicle how Elmer has aimed high and often fallen short with his scientific experiments. Allusion to Pygmalion In Greek mythology, Pygmalion was a sculptor who made a statue so beautiful and perfect that he fell in love with it, and in an answer to his prayers, Venus made the statue come to life. Elmer tries, like Pygmalion, to perfect his wife, but without the gods or supernatural help, he cannot do so successfully. 
feminist analysis of the birthmark. Most feminists would be critical of Georgiana's complete dependence on her husband for self-worth and happiness. Her selfless willingness to risk her life to support her husband's scientific goal and to make him love her allows her to be victimized. Although she may appear noble and selfless, her complete devotion to her husband, at her own expense, shows the Victorian ideal of what a woman should be. But many, many feminists find this ideal offensive and unfair to women. Georgiana tells Elmer of her birthmark, To tell the truth, it has been so often called a charm that I was simple enough to imagine it might be so. Upset at Elmer's distaste over the birthmark, she angrily asks Elmer, Then why did you take me from my mother's side? You cannot love what shocks you. Elmer shows his egoism when he confidently assesses the experiment he has done on his wife by saying, Unless all my science have deceived me, it cannot fail. Hawthorne says of Elmer's obsession with removing his wife's birthmark, revealing the author's belief that the birthmark is a symbol of mor mortality, he found this one defect grow more intolerable intoler with every moment of their united lives. It was the fatal flaw of hum humanity which nature, in one shape or another, stamps ineffaceably on her productions, either to imply that they are temporarily temporary and finite, or that their perfection must be wrought by toil and pain. Elmer's belief that the birthmark reveals his wife's mortality and his belief that removing it will perfect nature and perhaps immortalize Georgiana is shown when Hawthorne writes, in this manner selecting it as the symbol of his wife's liability to sin, sorrow, decay, and death. Georgiana reveals that she is fully aware of the danger to herself of removing the birthmark when she tells Elmer, I know not what may be the cost to both of us to rid me of this fatal birthmark. Perhaps its removal may cause cureless deformity, or it may be the stain goes deep as life itself. Again, do we know that there is a possibility on any terms of unclasping the firm grip of this little hand which was laid upon me before I came into the world? And Georgiana shows how important it is to her that her husband loves her and is pleased with her when she tells him, either remove this dreadful hand or take my wretched life. Two more quotes. Even the simple down-to-earth servant Aminadab understands the danger of removing Georgiana's birthmark when he says, if she were my wife, I'd never part with that birthmark. And Georgiana's selflessness, even at the moment of her death, is shown when she worries about her husband's ego over her own life, saying, My poor Elmer, she repeated with a more than human tenderness, you have aimed loftily, you have done nobly. Do not repent that with so high and pure a feeling you have rejected the best the earth could offer. Elmer, dearest Elmer, I am dying.